Hi, my name is Fariha Sultan and this is my demo for Tarn Project Sprint 2. Unregistered user child story number 1. As an unregistered user, I want to click on register button so that I can register to the site with my email address and password. Acceptance criteria. Clicking on register button takes the user to sign up page. Sign up page displays a form in the middle where user can enter email address and a password to register to the site. Clicking on the sign up button without any information or non-gmail address shows an error message asking for gmail address only. Submitting a gmail address with less than 4 character long password gives error message. If user clicks on sign up button with gmail address and at least 4 characters long password, then user is taken to the verify page. Database shows this entry as unregistered user. So here is the registration form. Actually, I should go back. Okay, from here, if I click on the register button, it comes to the registration form with an email address or without anything. If I try to sign up, it gives me use Gmail only. If I use Gmail and three character long password, it won't take it. It says four characters at least. So if I do four characters, try to sign up, it takes me to the verify page right here. At this point in the database, I already have one user with registered role. And if I refresh it, now the current one shows as unregistered. And also here is the email token that will be sent to my email account. So. I will go back to the PowerPoint first. Second user story is or child user story is as an unregistered user, I want to receive verification tokens so that I can become a registered user of the site. Acceptance criteria. Server sends a verification token to the unregistered user's Gmail account. Verify page shows a form that requires email address and the token for verification. If token is incorrect, the verify page displays invalid token error message. Clicking on verify email button with correct token takes the user to the login page with a success message. Database now shows the user as registered user. So from here, let's look at my email address first. And here I have my verification code and as you see it's the same as the one that's in database. So I'm just going to copy this from here. Verification code, my email address and with this token I try to verify my email and it, take, it gives me that success message and takes me to the login page and also in the database. If I refresh it, now it's unregistered. If I refresh it it's going to show registered right here. And if I well, go back and without this token, if I had anything else, try to verify the email, it would show the invalid token. All right, that's all I have for today. Thank you.